So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to look for anything that says Valorant or Riot Games. If you find anything that says that, you want to right click on it and then click on End Task. Then you want to head over to the Details tab and do the same thing. Anything that says Valorant or Riot Games on it, you want to right click on it and then click on End Process Tree. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in System Configuration. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to select Normal Startup. And then you want to head over to the Services tab. You want to click on Service at the top, which will sort everything by alphabetical order. Then you want to look for VGC. You need to scroll down to find it. I don't have VGC on this computer because I haven't got Valorant installed. But once you find VGC, you want to make sure that it's been enabled. So you want to click on the tick when you find VGC and then click on OK. Now for the last step, you want to head over to Search and type in Services. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on any service and click on View on your keyboard. You want to look for VGC again. Once you find VGC, you want to double click on it. And then you want to change the startup tab to automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service running and then click on OK. But if you got to this stage and it was already started and the service was running, you want to click on restart the service. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.